Welcome to another episode of the Smiles Ahead podcast powered by Burrow, Welshel, and Culp Orthodontics. This is a fun episode where we bring somebody in from the community and talk to them about how they make people smile, and this is no different. Lily, thanks for coming on from Tom James Clothing. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we appreciate it. Now, disclosure to the audience, she did not know this was going to happen today. Um, We just... uh, we're doing some fittings and stuff and thought it would be fun to jump on here and talk a little bit about what Tom James does, kind of how you got involved with the company, if you want to you know, chat a little bit on that. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I have been at Tom James for seven years now, which is crazy. I came to Tom James um, right after school, went to App State, um, moved back to Charlotte area. Um, I had interned with Tom James and I was like, man, this is just like really cool. And this seems like fun. I was a college athlete, so it kind of made sense to do something where I was kind of competitive with myself, just working on getting new clients. Um, But I now serve about 300 clients um, in the Charlotte area. So love what I do. I get to go see people every day, make it really easy for busy professionals to do their shopping. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what, um, you know, for the audience today, basically what they do, y'all do is make it super convenient, right? So we're trying to incorporate that in that with orthodontics where people come in it used to take like three appointments to get braces yeah. now they can get their you know exam pictures records and braces on that same day just you know yeah. if we could go to their house we would but it's a little bit more you know a little bit more yeah, difficult you got but, too much. You got but yeah too much. that convenience part is huge with tom james right yeah definitely main people re- main reason people shop with me is a fit aspect because mm-hmm. you make sure everything fit like you like it. Um, the convenience part of it, coming to you, taking mm-hmm. care of alterations, things like that. Our selection, we have hundreds of fabrics all in your size. Um, and then, of course, our expertise. So I can help a lot of my clients that don't know how to shop well for themselves and yeah. to match things up, you know? Yeah, and another disclosure today, she gave me some great advice on different types of pocket styles. That's a cool thing, too. You can kind of, you know, do different colors on buttons, and just subtle stuff that makes it look fun. Yeah, definitely, and different than what everyone else has. Exactly. You need that a little bit. Um, Now, one of the other similar things we see with something like this, like a customization, is with braces, everyone's like, oh, my God, they're going to be so expensive. I can't afford them, this and that. Um, How do you all combat that in terms of, you know, is there different levels? Do you make it? Because it sounds pretty expensive, right? Tailored clothes coming out to you, like, oh, man, I can never afford that. But how do y'all um, do with budgeting and stuff like that? So we um, have different levels, obviously, based on the um, the construction of the garment, mm. but then also on, like, the types of fabrics that we're um, – bring into you so I mean we've got some of the top of the line fabrics but we also have entry level fabrics Mm -hmm. where you're spending Brooks Brothers pricing on a suit which is really nice too but I mean in both of our industries it's all about like the value that you're bringing and the investment on something like on your teeth that's forever on your clothes hopefully that's a long time yeah um but you know just helping you out with stuff that brings you value yeah yeah, and I still have a Tom James suit from when I first moved back. I think that was almost 10 years ago. And yeah. um, I was just telling somebody, yeah, it's still, still wear it, still fits, you know. Um, and in terms of, you know, um, different stuff, I know we we'd talked about dress clothes and, you know, suits and stuff like that. But <clears throat> in terms of maybe women's clothes and maybe men's more casual clothes, I know we talked about after the pandemic, things have gotten a little more casual at work. Yeah. Uh, tell us some of the new stuff that y'all are doing yeah so um it's funny because we've been in charlotte for 40 plus years now so like a lot of people know us as like the suit company right like we um outfit the uptown bankers and stuff like that um but in the past three or four years post pandemic we've put out so many more casual um options so we've got stretch blazers unlined blazers a lot of more deconstructed kind of jacket options but then we've got tech stretch options in our pants um in shirts um a lot more casual um actual products like custom jeans custom sweaters polos pretty much anything um, that you're looking for that's super cool. Yeah, that performance fabrics has gotten popular and popular. And Absolutely. so, yeah, jumping on that. Yeah. Um, well, being this podcast is about making the community smile. There's obvious, um, you know, correlations between smiling and dressing in terms of when you walk into a room, I feel like the first couple of things you see is one, somebody smile. 
but also their overall appearance. So how important is not necessarily the nicest clothes, but something that fits really well and it looks tight and professional and that type of stuff? Is that, you know, that's kind of what y'all do, right? I always say, like, we are selling confidence. Mm -hmm. So, like, when, when someone walks into the room and they're confident, um, it makes a world of difference. Yeah. Like, you want to do business with somebody who's confident. You want to do business with somebody who looks really well put together because then you're trusting them to um, take care of you, right? Right. Um, so I always say that the better you feel about yourself, the better you're going to perform. So even if you're someone that doesn't really care about clothing, right. just the confidence boost makes a huge difference in your professional and personal life. And I like what you said before, even that entry level, to so say someone's like just trying to figure out, do I need custom clothes, do I not? It's yes. almost the same as going to Brooks Brothers and buying off the rack, but it looks and feels nicer, right? So Absolutely. starting with that and then tearing up is something probably that would be beneficial. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And even, I always say, like, everybody needs one good suit. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. are always going to, like, weddings, special events, occasions. So I've actually found in the past year or so, mm -hmm. I've sold probably more suits than ever in my career mm -hmm. just because people are pulling out their suit out of their closet for a special event. Yeah. And they're dusting it off, and they're like, this doesn't fit, <laughs> yeah. or this looks terrible and is totally out of style so post pandemic people haven't really worn a ton of suits mm -hmm. um so people are kind of starting to get back into the suit game and just need a little something that fits like they like it and that they feel good in so speaking of that is there any um style tips that are about to come in a style that someone like i know you being on the high end of it you're trying yeah. to tell people what's about to come in style and they're like nah i don't know about that like is there something where you're like no i promise this is this is coming in you might want to take a look at it so we're always like two years behind what they're doing in Europe mm -hmm. and pleats are coming back. In, like, <laughs> they, there's only, way, there's only so many ways are. they can do it, right? I know, I know. <laughs> I heard baggies coming back too, which would kill me. I just <laughs> think that like most of my clients are not going to do that. Right, And right. most people are not ready for that. Yeah. So some of my super fashion forward people are getting into some pleats, cuffs, but it's all trimmer. Yeah, it's okay. like this oversized trim look is very in, even like yeah. for women. Um, cause we've revamped our ladies line too and brought in a bunch of new people, um, to help us with that. But like, it's like, you want this, the shoulders and everything to fit. So it looks like it fits you, but it might be like double breasted and yeah. like a little more oversized. Yeah. So. Well, cool. So just for the audience, just to make sure, I know we talked a lot about guys clothes cause it's, yeah. I was just getting mine, but y'all do women's, men's, yep. great women's stuff. And yeah, so we do a lot of professional clothing for women. We also do, like, custom jeans, custom sweaters for ladies, right. which honestly is, like, the best Christmas gift mm. to gift your, like, wife or girlfriend a pair of, like, custom So I was going to ask, when, if you want to do um, gifting, being that yeah. they have to come get measured, is that where you just, like, present them with the, hey, I'm going to get you some custom jeans, and then the person comes in? Like, how, how is the gifting usually work? So typically I have gift cards. So mm -hmm. I've got like a nice presentation and gift cards okay, to yeah. give to people. Um, but also um, it takes about six to eight weeks to come in. So if it's like not a surprise, we're right kind of at that Christmas cutoff. Right. Of getting things in before the holidays. So some of my clients are having me go measure their significant others just so they can have something and the actual item for the holidays. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if they went and got their measurements, then person doesn't necessarily know what they're getting but exactly. yeah, yeah okay that exactly. makes sense that and makes we do sense. awesome custom cashmere scarves by holly oh. sherry and that's a good gift too how do like you customize a scarf or sorry that that actually isn't custom oh, okay it's really nice <laughs> that's, 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 like, oh, that's cool <laughs> yeah, um, I did say yeah 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 <laughs> no that's great um, well, thanks so much. I know this yeah. was unexpected, but just wanted to, to get y'all's name out there. I used y'all a lot. I know we laughed. I'd been, uh, last time I saw you was 2017, but you never yeah. know when you're going to need nice clothes. And every time I do it, I'm always happy. So, um, we appreciate you coming on and how can people find you or get in touch with you? What's the best way? Um, so I've got an Instagram at the underscore Lil Clothier. So L I L underscore Clothier. Um, and then, um, I'm on LinkedIn, Lily mm -hmm. Yadawara, just a tough name, yeah. but, um, we'll put everything in the show notes and kind of put that out there. So if people would just yeah. want to reach out. They just say, Hey, I'm just interested in some clothes and you'll yep. take it from there. Right. Yep. It's easiest to email or text me. But. Sweet. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. And until next time, guys, thank y'all. 
Thanks for listening to the Smiles Ahead podcast powered by Burrow, Welchel, and Colt Orthodontics. Be sure to leave a rating, hit that subscribe button, and if you have more questions, you can reach out to me directly at sam at bwcortho.com. That's sam at bwcortho.com. You can also visit our website, bwcortho.com, and we will be happy to answer any questions you might have.